there, this is Lady Shell. I'd like to welcome you to my new series, which I'm calling Fantasy Grounds Tips for Beginners. I've compiled 25 tips, each with its own description in the title, so that you can look through this playlist and pick and choose the ones that interest you the most. Or you can just start at one and go through 25. They're all between 3 and 10 minutes in length, so if you don't have a lot of time but you want to learn a little bit about Fantasy Grounds, these tips should be helpful. Note that if you're a long-time user of Fantasy Grounds, you may not find these tips very interesting because they are aimed at brand new users. I want to give them a look at what Fantasy Grounds can do for their gaming. So sit back, relax, and hopefully you'll learn something new. Now the topic of this tip is to show you how to add players to the combat tracker the party sheet and the map. So we got three and one here. So we are going to start with the map. This map is from the Map Hatters Shard Roads Meanders Maps, which is available in the Fantasy Ground store. I will leave a link to it in the post or in the uh, description of this video. So let's first add characters to our combat tracker. Now I don't have any live characters on my on my uh, table, so I'm going to be adding them from the character selector manually. So we're going to start with Alyssa Hammerstone. So let's move her over here, and let's put Barbie. And let's put Carter. And finally, let's put Draco. So let me close this. So we're going to imagine that we have players on the table. When they join the table and they pick their character, their portrait will display up here. That would be the, the these little pictures here. These four pictures would be displayed in a row up here. Now, for me as a DM to add them to the combat tracker, I would take them and I would drag their picture to the combat tracker, just like I did from the character sheet here and drag them in. So that is how to put your characters on the combat tracker. The next thing we want to do is we want to add the characters to uh oh, wait a minute. I need to delete them from from the party sheet. Hang on. This was from a previous video, so let's delete that. Okay, party sheet normally looks like this with nobody on it. So for me to add these players to my party sheet, I'm going to drag the shield of each one separate and put them on the combat tracker. I'm not the combat tracker, the party sheet. So we have our four people on the party sheet. Now we can close the party sheet. And now I want to load my, my players into the onto the map. So to do that in a quick way, we take the green helmet down here that says friendly because all of our players are friendly. And we drag this onto our map and it puts them on the map and they can adjust where they want to stand after they are already entered onto the map like so and that is how you add players to the combat tracker players to the party sheet and players to the map remember that you need to have your map gridded before you add your players otherwise they will not scale correctly so I hope that you found this tip interesting and I hope you'll continue to watch the rest of my video tips here and I thank you for watching. Bye bye.